Time now for our creator spotlight and today we focus on Michael Straw and his channel Sports Gamers Online. Mike's channel provides news, tips and reviews for your favorite sports games. And interestingly enough, Michael's favorite team is the Cincinnati Reds and his favorite moment was when Ken Griffey Jr. debuted with the Red Legs in 2000. So let's welcome in our creator Mike of Sports Gamers Online. First I got to ask you, tell me about the chair. So the, my son is a big Spider-Man guy, or kid, he's four. And when I was looking for a new chair for down in, in the office space, he saw this online and he told me to get it. And I'm not going to tell him no. I feel like that'd be terrible. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I'd let him down if I tell him, no, I can't get a Spider-Man chair. Life's fun. Yeah, you need a dad, number one dad mug for sure, right next to the chair. I have one. I, I have <laughs> one, but it's upstairs. I don't use it ever. That's what I thought. Next time, we'll have you bring it out. All right, so Mike, That's we're good. getting set for Brewers Reds coming up. The Brewers are out to a strong start to 2022, building on their division winning season a year ago. What would you say is the most improved part of this team compared to last year? Their offensive output has been so much better, comparatively speaking, from this time last year to today. They're plus 31 in their in their run differential compared to minus 11 at the same time. And at this time, they were trailing the Cardinals before turning it on. And they just seem to be a much more comfortable team at home. I think last year was tough coming out of the pandemic, shortened season and things getting back adjusted. But having the fans back in full force, it just seems to like re-energize this team. And they know they're good. And, and it hit early. Mike, it's established. You are a loud and proud Reds fan, but I mean, man, there's there's no sugar coating it. It's been a tough no. start to the year. But as a fan, look into the camera, give Red Leg Nation reason to have hope for the future. So it's tough, admittedly, trying to think of any reason. But then when you look, and I think of I think of going back to like 2007 and 2008, they they were really bad. And then Brandon Phillips came along and then Joey Votto got into a stride and they're winning NL central titles. And I see that. And I see Jonathan India. I see Hunter green, <laughs> Tyler Stevenson. They're just only going to get better. So granted, there's a lot of luck in it with health and things like that, but these guys are young. The future is here. And within the few next couple of years, it wouldn't surprise me to see these guys be the faces of the reds. And it has me excited to see this young talent. And Hunter had that nice bounce back performance last night. Okay, when yeah. you are playing video games, be honest, do you still play as the Reds? And if not, who is your go-to team? So I always like to take the bottom teams in any game I play. And I guess the benefit of the Reds being so bad is that they are a bottom feeding team. <laughs> so I can build them up however I really want to. Uh, so I can get the, the short stops I need. I can get the pitching I need or anything like that. But... If there is a team that I do play with that's not the Reds, I'll pick the Toronto Blue Jays solely because being based out of Buffalo, the AAA Farm Club is here. So you see a lot of these prospects and it just makes it easy to root for. Yeah, that's definitely not a bottom feeder, Mike. All right. Now, since you no, are a gamer, <laughs> we have to ask the age old question. I know it's cliche. I know it's tired. What is the best baseball video game of all time? For me, it's MLB Slugfest, uh, 2003, the first one. The memories, and I think it's nostalgia, rose-colored glasses, whatever. Uh, the memories I have just playing with friends, playing even with my dad. He wasn't a gamer, but this was one game I got him to play. Uh, just It was just so much fun and over the top and nothing you saw. It made baseball a lot more exciting than what it was in the mid-2000s with everything that went on. So just, yeah, and it's still a game I play. I can't wait actually until my son's a bit older and I can introduce him. That's my next question. What game do you enjoy playing the most with your son? Right now it's backyard baseball. He, right. he loves it because seeing players as kids is hilarious and he loves all the nicknames like humongous melon heads and things like that. All right, your favorite memory involves a guy we all love, Ken Griffey Jr. Now we know his debut for Cincy had a big impact on you, but what is the greatest thing you ever saw him do in a Reds Uni? So I was lucky and I had just graduated high school and I decided to go to a game and it happened to be his 603rd career home run exactly a month before he was traded to the White Sox. Uh, and it was the last walk off home run of his career. Uh, they won four to three and it just set in of like this era is about to end. 
but even but when he was healthy he was so great and just to see my favorite player of all time play for my favorite team and, and knowing it was ending it just started to just flood all these memories back and I, to this day I'll never forget it well Mike we really hope that you have more memories to create with your kids as well thank you so much for your thank time thank you so much thank you I appreciate it